in this video I'm going to show you how to put together the Panda with Hearts card. And this is an SVG from Simply Crafty SVGs. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and make a version of this card. Um, this one is, I, that was the actual stamp, but I'm going to show you how to do this. This is an action wobble one, so I'm not going to do that on this, the one that I show you. But it's a little mechanism called an action wobble to put the head. So you could use it instead. And instead of using the eyes that are in the file, I used uh, googly eyes. So that's one version of it. And you can see that it's kind of open like that. And uh, for this one, I just put an optional thing right here. But you could put a message here. So this is not in the file. So you could just have the pattern paper right on this side. Um, or you could add a little... Um, little rectangle or something like that to add on that side. So that's that. So this is this version. So I'm going to put aside um, these parts right now. now, And uh, we're going to piece together the the panda. So when you start, we can go ahead. We'll just start with the head. So I'm going to put that aside. This is the back of the head. So when you line it up, we're going to add glue around just these little places here, carefully, around the openings, and then line it up. And then, then this part will line on there, line up on there. And then we have the eyes. So let's go ahead and piece together the, the eyes, and the feet, and the face. So with help of the, with the pick me up tool, um, I was able to piece them together, and you can see how I did the, the little eyes, and I'm gonna little add a little accent with the white pen to the eyes and, perhaps to the nose too, but we'll just piece them, put them together right there, so we might as well go ahead and place them. So again, you could use the googly eyes if that's a preference for you. I'm gonna put the glue here. So actually I can see where the eyes go. So I'm going to just pick this up. Just lightly. It has a little sticky part on it if you've never used this before. And you just can see how I configured the eye. I lost the second one. So I kind of, the way I put it on is uh, closer to the bottom edge. And however you wanted the eyes to look. So that's that. So now we'll go ahead and start layering it. So we have this piece which will be the 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 arm that goes across the body. And the arm holding this is going to be on top of the just making sure the texture is up on top of the um, balloons when we attach the uh, twine. So we'll put those two aside. 
we'll go ahead and add this. So this is just going to, you kind of want to line it up. It's at an angle, but you can see how it lines up on the edges of the head. So just kind of try to line it up. Oops, it angles like that, it's slightly. So you can see how that looks. So go ahead and add that. And I'm going to wait to put the feet on until I get it on the actual card. Same thing with the, the head. So I'm just getting it lined up. I just The way I lined it up is to make sure it's in the right angle and it lines up on the edge. You can kind of see the back. If you're off by just a little bit, it's not a big deal. So we'll go ahead and instead of using uh, that little wobbly action wobble, I'll use some uh, foam tape. So I've got these squares. I'm just trying them out. They're American Crafts uh, square foams. Foam squares. I'm going to have to say it right. So we'll put it on after because I want to be able to get it onto the card easily. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to put that out like this. And so the, the way this is going to go, it's going to line up right here. So you see right there? It's going to line up. So let's go ahead and add some glue to the back of this panda body. So I would start from the right side. So you want to make sure that we're lining it up. So for me, just get it in an angle that's easy for you to see. But I'm starting here, getting it lined up on the edge there, lightly placing it down, and then just making sure, making minor adjustments before it dries. So there we go. So we're going to go ahead and put the pieces of twine. They're about four inches each. Uh, one's really short, so you don't really need four inches for that, but we'll cut it. And then like this. So I'm going to use glue dots to attach it, both to the top of the hand and then on the inside. And we'll put this on before we put the background. So this is going to go behind right here, but we're going to just wrap this in there. So you could actually just do a line. So you could actually draw a line, and you could do that in your um, software. Uh, you could, where you could just have it drawn or hand draw it if you wanted to do that as well. But I like dimension, so I'm just using a little string. I didn't have um, the color twine I thought I had, but um, so I'm going to use this. And I'm going to use these little glue dots. So I'm going to do this first. I'm going to put a glue dot right there. So we're going to, we have a piece that will hide that. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take it, put the end there, and we'll do that for all three. You could have a bigger glue dot too. Remember, we're going to glue something on top of it to keep it in place even more. So I have a couple more glue dots here. We're going to go ahead and I'll show you one. I don't want to get it too close. I'm going to kind of put it right there. Try not to get too close to the outer edge there. Just making sure it's good and taut. Then I can trim it. And the same thing I'll do for the other two. So I'm just making sure that I, when I pull it down here, Pulling it straight down at the bottom of the heart. It would be much harder with um, regular wet glue to be able to attach this. So if you have something like this or a different kind of adhesive. So I'm going to double check. I'm kind of feeling that it's taut. So no, I'm not really showing it. Let me get this up here. So you can see, 
how all three are connected with that little glue dot. So we're just going to get that third one trimmed off. And if I need to make adjustments, I can. I'm just going to go check the other side. Let me get this out of my way. Throw it away. So we're going to go ahead and there it looks good. So let's go ahead and add this little hand portion here to hide the twine. And my other ideas is instead of drawing it, you can always um, you could draw. I mean, you could draw it also with a pen by hand or with your machine if you prep the file before you cut. Or you can uh, you could use something like uh, anything thin like wire, because a lot of us have craft wire that we don't use that often. So just line that up and then I'm just going to kind of hold it in place. Um, but anything that kind of emulates a little um, the handle of the balloon. So we'll go ahead and do, just to make sure everything stays in place when we do the rest of it, We'll go ahead and we're going to cover this right here. So we're not going to worry about it showing. So the reason we don't really care is uh, we'll have this larger piece right here that will cover that section. So we're going to go ahead and just need to double check again. So we're going to put glue around the little hearts and then all the way kind of down here. So we're just going to go carefully place it around there. And if you have a little glue that's outside the area that's not covered by this little um, section here, it's okay because we have that other larger piece that we'll be placing on here shortly. And you see it doesn't go all the way to the edge. So that's what it looks like. So far so good, right? So now let's go ahead and add this to really so we don't have to worry about it at all. So I have the textured side showing in and then I'm just going to line that up. Don't go all the way to the edge. It's a little bit um, you want to not go all the way to the middle of the card. You can go towards the edge up here, but it it's slightly shorter. Not much. It's not enough for you to really notice, actually. And then we're just going to line it up starting from the edge. And then just get it right into place before we secure it. I have a dog barking in the background, but I'm not going to stop. So once it's on, I may have to put a little more glue to get that nice and flat. But I can always go around here and ink the edges where the hand meets so it just looks black. You don't have to do that. It looks fine without doing it. But it's just a preference. So I'm using these little sticky thumb adhesive foam tabs. So we're going to go ahead and add the head. So I'm going to take the tabs off of that. Just line it up. So you might have to see, if you're using something like that, you kind of have to see the angle of the head to match it up on the, make sure it lines up okay. I'm just going to lightly place it there, make sure it looks okay doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Then we'll get the feet on. And it's angled enough so you can see, you'll be able to see the angle using the bottom portion. So I kind of angle them out a little bit. It goes like that. And like that. Just 
kind of seeing that it looks good. You have a little bit of wiggle room down there. Then we need to put this little arm in. So it's just going to sit like that. I'm not going to pop that one up. And I'm going to glue that down. So now I did actually add a little sentiment. You could do a print and cut. Um, I did this uh, a little stamp. I actually stamped directly on here, um, but the I like the way the stamp came out. It took a while for me to get it to this how deep it is. It's a stamp I've had forever. But anyways, I'm, I'm just going to pop it up. I had to cut it off um, right before I made the video. I had the a different card base. And I accidentally got some water on it, so. So now it looks like a dimensional piece. So it says friends forever. I should say forever, but it says forever. So the last thing I'm going to do is add this inside piece here. So let's go ahead and add that. I'm just going to use a, a little runner here, a Zyron runner. I use it, I haven't used it a lot on videos, um, but I do like to use them on card panels. I just don't like to do precise work with it where I have to line things up. Um, the reason is, if you put it in the wrong place, it just doesn't pull up very easily. There's a way to get it up, but I need something that's going to give me a little wiggle room most of the time when I'm piecing. But these, I can do these all day. So we're just going to center it then this is going to complete the card so just getting it lined up so there's a place to put your sentiment on the left there um, or you could just go ahead and add a little piece here that goes underneath and then you have cute little panda card that you can use for th um, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, or just any time really. It could be a birthday card. It's just a cute card overall, I think. And you can just pull that panda off and use it for other things too. So here's two, two different versions of it. I hope you enjoyed the file and if you did, please give me a little like or thumbs up or subscribe below. And thank you so much for watching.